Welcome to, to the Adam, Adam and Beth and show. show. Yay. So where are we today, Adam? Today we are at Bristol Zoo. <gasps> but it says Bristol Zoo Garden, so I don't know if that's something else or that's the same thing. Well, we'll or, find out. Yeah. Do you want to look a lion in the eye or wonder why penguins fly? But penguins don't fly, do they? They do. Of course they fly. Penguins don't fly. And chickens. <laughs> penguins do fly. Penguins do. I think penguins do fly. I think. I think. You've got me questioning it now. Oh, Bristol Zoo Gardens, how have you done this? Oh, I found the lion. Oh my goodness. <gasps> there he is. It's a shame I don't have any dreamies with me. Oh, uh, we could have given him some. Is there another one? Or is that, oh no, it's a mirror, that's a mirror. Uh, Mrs. Lion, how are you? What are you up to? Looking through the fence. We've got to protect them, Bethan. There's only less than 700 left of the Asiatic lions. Oh. So, look after him, everyone. Oh my goodness, you look. <gasps> They're on Pride Rock! They're on Pride Rock. Looks like Simba. That one's Simba, and the other one is. Um, Norman? Nala. Nala. Oh my god, they're looking right at me. Oh my goodness. Look at that face. It looks just like a peanut. Press the button to see how a lion marks its territory. Okay then. Oh, there's water coming out of this lion's bum. <laughs> oh my. That's nice. Next up, we have the Kia. Just missing the I, and it would be an Ikea. So Bethan, do you like the Kias, or do you prefer Ikea? Oh, I do quite like Ikea. <sighs> you are what's wrong with this world. We found a red panda, which is funny, right? I, they don't really look like pandas to me. They look more like raccoons, don't they? Or like foxes. You know what's weird? He kind of looks like Peanut too. Oh. Everyone looks like Peanut. Oh, hello there. Hi Adam. Hello, I am a panda. I'm not Adam, I am a panda. I mean Bristol Zoo Garden. We found the frog enclosure and it says there are 48 different frogs in this room. I, we can't even spot I'll be one. honest, it could just be a room full of plants and... <laughs> like my pub quiz knowledge oh, okay. is always what kind of um, an animal is a mountain chicken. Oh, and it's a frog. Okay. They're in strict quarantine. Oh, maybe they've got... um. The uh, coronavirus. <laughs> that is massive. And uh, oh look, there's some more. They look so much like dinosaurs, like their necks and stuff. Don't they? <gasps> blep blep. There's an iguana. Oh, there's the iguana. We're looking for him. Look at this wonderful world where tortoises and iguanas can live in harmony. An African pancake tortoise. Oh, he's, he's tiny. tiny. Look at him. Oh, he is small. He is like a little pancake. And it's pancake day, so. uh, In Haribo, you get the big, long, gummy worms. That is th th what this reminds me of. Oh, look, his tongue is gone. What, what Bethan freaked out about is that he just kind of flopped off the rock. <laughs> oh, I want to get his tongue. Show me your tongue. Show me. Oh, there it is. I can do that. <laughs> Bless you. Bethan loves crocs. And Bethan loves crocodiles. Oh, right. I meant the shoes, I was joking. It was a hilarious joke. Bethan, look at this encounter. Look, look at all those colorful snakes. Look at them, ooh, they're deadly. You know what's really funny? What? Whenever we come to aquariums, I always have to check like the boards above yeah. to make sure there's no eels in there. I check, hoping there are eels to scare you. Is it, what's that? Whoa! So we have never seen anything like this. It's a turtle, but it's got like a little like beak or snout, I think. Like you see, it, it almost looks like a penguin. So these are piranhas, and I was telling Bethan that they are like they can eat people. I think because there are like man-eating piranhas, I think, which are real things. Yeah, I don't I don't know if these ones will eat you, but they are dangerous. We found this fish, and he's got like a big nose, and we don't know what he is. So if anyone in the comments knows what kind of fish that is, please tell us, because we'd like to know. Bethan, where, where are these fish? They're in the nemeny. <laughs> this is a tomato clown. Only it's tomatoes? Tastes like tomatoes? Smells like tomatoes? We've had a tea and a coffee, and it's now time for Bug World! Woo! You know what cockroaches remind me of? What? The mummy with the scarabs. And when they start under his skin, I think, oh, Imhotep, Imhotep. Hey, Bethany, have you spotted this in, in that cabinet in front of you? Have you spotted where it is yet? Where? What? Ooh. You found it. <laughs> there he is. Look at that. Look at this, this is actually. 
That's crazy. So the big brown one, that's the female. And the blue one is the male. You know what that happens like... is that once he gets on her back, that's it. He, she's his. Oh, okay. Oh, really? You can see where the male has like hooked its leg around the female. So that brown bit? Yeah. That's the male. Yeah. And that's the female yeah. on top? <laughs> yeah. Wow. So we're learning about sea urchins, which we didn't know were real things. I thought sea urchin meant like seaweed or something. I thought it was kind of like a coral sort of thing. Oh, okay. Um, so it turns out they're these big spiky black things. And they look really interesting. They've got like these little neon lights. And I was like, oh look, there's its eye at the back. Can you see? Nope, that's its... Oh my god, is it doing it right now? That's its, that's its anus, everyone. Is it letting out farts? <gasps> is, is that poo? Oh. I just absolutely crap myself. Oh my god! I did as well. It's like, who are these people in the enclosure? Who are these sexy shrimps? You be, be an animal in the enclosure, look. Oh, look, look at this. Whoa, what is it? A bear? Is it? I don't know. It's quite nice though. I might marry it. <laughs> Whoa. Um, a scorpion? Found a monkey. I thought its tail was his leg. Yeah, oh, that's his tail. Oh my god, I thought it was as well. Hopefully that makes it a bit more. Yeah, that's better. Look at that. There's a baby monkey. Huh? And another monkey. Oh, oh my word. So that's Jock. And look how much he has. That is ridiculous. He doesn't even have any chips or like... He has two boiled eggs though. Two boiled eggs, no crisps, no Pringles. Here in total, so we've got our silver bat male Jock, <gasps> and then his harem of females, um, and his offspring as well. Oh, he didn't like that! <laughs> they're so close, but no touchy. No to oh, look, they're having a little groom. My hair is even weirder now, look. What's going on with it? Dr. Weedo. Dr. Weedo's here. Oh, we just didn't want to stay in the house this weekend, did we? No. No, so we thought... Because the house sucks. The house sucks, basically, yeah. So we thought, you know what, let's come to Bristol Zoo, because mm -hmm. we've never been. We haven't, which is really weird, because it was so only close. like an hour drive. Um, it was really nice because with the price of our admission, you actually donate to wildlife. Yeah, well. so 10% goes to wildlife and then you gift aid it. Yes, which means Whatever they get means. an extra 25%. Whoa! We're in the butterfly forest. Oh, oh there's a butterfly. <laughs> oh, it's a bit scary, isn't it? Oh, this is weird. <laughs> this is really strange. What? I don't like it. <laughs> This is amazing. This is so scary. Oh, it's so steamy. Hang on. It's because it was it's so nice and warm in here. It is. <gasps> There's one. Where? Oh, behind us. Our trip at Bristol Zoo has come to an end. Oh my god, listen. It's lost in the woods. They're playing lost in the woods. We're now in the gift shop. Yes. And what have you found? We found little badges. Little badges. Can you see? That's it's a, a little sloth. <gasps> and I'm gonna get a little hedgehog. Yeah. So, that was it from Bristol Zoo. Yeah, uh, we were gonna film our ending outside, but um, it started raining, so we ran. So if you are in the Bristol area and you're wondering if you wanted to go to Bristol Zoo, whether it was worth it or not, 100% thumbs up for me. I would, yeah, that was a really, really enjoyable day. Mm -hmm. um, lots to do, really big. I was quite surprised. I had a very fun day at Bristol Zoo. I had a very fun day as well. And uh, thanks for coming along with us. Yeah. So that's it from us. And, and thanks for watching the Adam and Bethan Show. Yeah. yeah.